Hello, my beautiful beauties and my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant morning to everyone. You know, these days I'm wondering if the world, let's say the world at large, you know, um, understand the true concept of love. Because I find today, in these days, somebody loves you, but it is really convenient, a sort of a convenient love. It's not the love that First Corinthians chapter 13 verses 1 to 13 speaks about where it says love does not envy, love does not boast, it is not proud, it is not self-seeking, love endures, love is not devoid of trials and tribulations my beautiful people, we are flawed beings, so teeth and tongue will meet they'll have it out i'm not talking about sometimes unfortunately maybe a little disrespect may come in but these days i find that you know media is promulgating that if is as though if somebody disrespects you once you cut them off completely they're not good for you and say a whole host of people liking it now when we, let us look back at the life of peter with jesus peter loved you know he loved jesus you know but the thing is, if you love somebody, it has to be put to the test. When you drive a car, you have to put it to the test to know if what all of what they tell you about the mechanical, the mechanics of the car and what it can do, you have to test it. You have to test the efficacy of it. Now, um, Peter said, Lord, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Basically, said, boy, Peter, you know, before the cock crows, you're going to deny me. Now, when fear gripped him, when people said, well, because he thought he would have been killed, you know, been sent to the gallows, so to speak. You know, he um, denied Jesus three times, like him Buddha, before Jesus reached on the cross, he would have take him off and put him on back, take him off, put him on back, sort of a thing. He literally cursed bad words, denying him. But yet God used him afterwards. He used Peter. Peter went on and wrote. We're talking about first and second Peter. And even when Paul was on his missions, there were times Peter was with him. So I'm simply saying to you that we have to be careful of when we say we love somebody. But as soon as calamity hits, we cut them off. Love endures. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about somebody who may be narcissistic and wants to remain there. Then you love them from afar. That's it. There's a difference. But I'm talking about, you know, things will happen. We're, we're not perfect. You are not perfect. You will offend people too. No matter how good you are. No matter how good and nice you are, you're going to offend somebody. You're going to do some things that are wrong and you're going to want the person to stay by you love has stick-to-itiveness and that's what you need in your relationships and stop ending them so quickly try to the end follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel